All right. Just picked up this 1985 Winnebago Chieftain 22 footer. Needs carburetor work. So I got the doghouse pulled. Forgot to start videoing. Got the wife in here cleaning while I'm working on this. Got the big block Chev. Pull the uh, quadra jet off. That's what I was looking for. Got a rebuild kit in the truck. Got an oil change for it because he said it was flooding. Um, got some vacuum caps, rebuild kit. So, should be good to go. Got the uh, got the car pulled. Got the wife still cleaning back there. I'm gonna go uh, set up the uh, time lapse pull, rebuild the quadra junk. Hopefully she runs good. And uh, after that, we'll hope she runs. Hope she don't flood, cause that's what he said it did. Was uh, said it floods so bad that it won't run. Got the quadra jet rebuilt. That was a uh, fiasco. Pulled the uh, battery cover off. It's only got one battery. Got the carburetor put back on there. Got the old Chev pulled up. About to hook the cables up to it, see what she does. Got the video everything. But uh, needless to say, I got her back together. It's got a, uh, it's got a, high idle situation but i don't know if any of the lights work i know the tail lights don't work so i had to just get it back together uh check for vacuum leaks and it leaks and it doesn't have one it might have been timing i'm not sure but i changed the oil real quick and uh now we're cruising i just got it set on i'm just doing like uh 50 you know it's got brand new tires on it. So that's the only reason I'm pretty ballsy enough to do this. Other than that, uh, I guess we'll get back up with you when we get home. All right, got the wife in here, shampooing. Cleaning that dirty. All right. Here's, here's a little walk through. We tried to start removing this. It just, it just flakes off. So we'll have to do that at a later date. We're actually going in three days. We're going in three days to go try it out and go uh, ride the side by sides. The wife cleaned up all the stains. For some reason it didn't help the rips, but other than that, you know, got her all cleaned up. Uh, she's inside what I just showed, um, shampooing these cushions. Got everything else wiped down. Got her all wiped down with pine saw. Got the dog hunting. We're gonna try to light the stove, turn the fridge on. First time in like five years, I think ice cold in there hopefully there ain't no water in those ice trays and 
then got the fridge and this is the problem area i'm about to take this up and see how bad it is it looks worse than it is but it's actually it's actually hard so it leaked at one time i guess or something but it's pretty solid so i'm gonna pull that back and i guess just spray that with bleach that little bit of mold see what else mold is in there fix it enough and we'll be good to go i'm gonna take these down too but the furnace kept tripping the breaker and going Arr. so i stuck this in there on the wheel i was looking down in there and you can roll the wheel and it was a hard spot and then i would try to make it go and i'll back it up try to make it go and back it up and then finally spun free and shot a bunch of shit out so now i'm gonna put the cover back on because the pilot light even lit <laughs> god <laughs> still squirt stuff out all right what dude <laughs> all right so whoo that's hot already Hell yeah. All right, so now we'll put the cover back on. Put this cover back on. And we should be cooking with peanut oil. Listen, that'll make the air go out the vents. If I don't get covered in rat first. What was that screw? Of course. Screwdriver? There it is. Turn this off now. She just needed to be woke up a little bit. It's exciting. Now we got furnace for this uh for Thursday when we go. It's Monday, by the way. And we're going right on Thursday. Door solid. We can put our little oh, okay. This got some damage. Put our little gaudy grate back on. The double G baby. You always that shape them up? Let's go on here. Nineteen eighty, baby. Something about just bringing something back around. What was that, Sky? What? Something made noise back there. I hope we ain't got no activity. Mice. I hope we don't. We didn't see any recent history of any. Look at that. I thought I was going to have to glue that back in. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Run it. You want to be warm or you want it to be quiet? All right, what you want? All right, so now I'm up top. I'm right above that spot that we pulled the damaged area. I'm, I cleaned it and I'm running some caulk. That's some really old stuff. And I'm knocking it with this tool with a little point. Pop, 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 pop. Shattering it off and just running a nasty bead all the way down and kind of getting it all up in there and that's going to slow the leak well, well i should say let's hope it'll stop the leak until i come up and pull this plate off this cap and do it all new bolts i mean all new screws and reseal it all so i'm going to put little dabs of caulk all the way on all the bolts screws 
run a bead along there. Probably run a little bit along there even though it's not leaking. I got one more spot over there and we'll be good to go. Here, like this one here. This hat, this was causing a drip on the inside. And Yeah, bud. Yeah, she's been leaking there for a long time. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm gonna cap that off with some caulk. We'll clean it and then cap it. That'll be our leak stopped. This is only temporary to stop the leaks. Put a big old dollop. I learned this from an old guy. Spit on your finger and it don't touch. I mean, it don't stick. Feather the edges out. Boom. All right, got her pulled around. Been ongoing with the cleaning. We're doing deodorizing the carpet for the time being. Got the driver. What do you think? And back here, where the bed goes, I just patched it in with white paint, sealed that up, and then I'm going to put a patch panel on when we get back, shampooed everything, and go get the cushions that go here, pick up all this stuff, hook the trailer up, see why the fuse keeps popping for the taillights, be right back. Got the razor hooked up. Gonna get, gonna clean it and get some of these mildew marks off of it. It's not gonna clean up perfect, but it'll look better than what it did. All right, we're a uh, hundred miles in to our trip. Got, the, got it all loaded down. Got good oil pressure. Running cold, charging. Only issue is um, we burnt 13 gallons of fuel and it ran out of gas, so I'm guessing a fuel pickup is the issue, but we'll just keep her topped off and we'll be good to go. Oh, and I have my side by side in tow. It's getting an average of 6.1 miles a gallon. I guess it's decent. Just pulled up, two and a half hours. Hey, you got my, uh, Weavis? All right, got everything packed back up after camping. What a wonderful night. She traded us good. I mean, look how good she looks for being neglected for so long. Well, it got the pull in the razor. Got mom's butt in it. Listen to that cold start. Yeah. All right. Headed home. See how she does on the way back. All right, we made it home. What you think, Sky? Check. Oh, look. I even got the radio working. RV, a motorcycle, and you no longer use it. All the speakers work. She wants to be driven. 
I'm gonna unload the razor. Got her, the battery died overnight. Gotta do some new batteries. All right, the only issue we had was the, uh, was the fuel tank. Uh, it only, it would only suck up three gallons by the time we got home. So every 20, 30, 30 miles or so, we'd have to put more fuel in it. So I'm gonna pull the fuel tank probably the next video, or I don't even know if I'm gonna video it or not. Just gonna pull the next, I'm at the tank and that's really the only thing we have to fix for the next camping trip. It's fuel pickups or something like that, but I appreciate you watching. We're gonna just keep working on her, getting her done up. But that's the best $2,500 I think I could have spent right there. Thanks for watching.